All right, let's take a look at uh, measuring this cone and a couple of errors uh, that come up, things we have to work through to get it to run properly. So uh, notice I am using an X negative, a stylus five on a star probe. Uh, so the probe will be coming out uh, in the X negative direction. Uh, for this example, you'll see this probe. I only have an X positive and X ne negative uh, styli included on the star probe, uh, mainly for clearance purposes, and I didn't need the other two. So it's styli five and three. We are on five right now. So I'll just define slight geometry, select the cone. And you'll notice a couple things wrong right away. It defaults to an inside feature. Okay. It also defaults to out in space for whatever reason. Can't explain that. It happens in this model. Um, so let's let's work through how to fix this. So let's get into strategy and in circle paths. Let's just move the circle paths. So I'm gonna go, you know, negative 0.5 for the start height of that one, and this one will go to minus 0.125, something along those lines. Alright, and that's fine. I'm not worried about, you know, any of you, even the filter settings or anything right now. This is just getting it to probe where it needs to be. So we'll leave that there. I'll change the clearance plane to X positive. Alright. And I'm just hit OK. Now that looked OK. It, there's your, you know, everything looks good. OK. Until you go to run this. And if we execute this quickly, you'll see that, that the styli is actually into the workpiece. So it's crashing right now. And that's because it defaults to a inside feature for whatever reason. So to fix that, OK, make sure the inside outside switch click that to be an outside so it actually gives you a good visual representation all right so make sure that this is button and learn this one okay um, it does you know it, it makes a big difference now it guesses right most of the time I'll be honest this is the first time I've ran into an instance where I've had to override Calypso's automatic guess on the inside outside I have not had to do that um, whether you're programming with a model or not. This cone feature on this part is the first time I've ever uh, had to run into that um, outside of you know training purposes, um, knowing that it was there. And to be frank, I forgot that this existed. I have not ran into it um, since I took classes on this. So um, when I did, had to call applications, this button was brought up and it's a simple fix. And um, so right there, we'll go to outside feature. Everything else is the same. If we go back and I'll simulate this, you will see the difference. You'll see the stylized stays on top of the part. All right, so that's much better. So now it runs properly without crashing. All right, so now let's go through and let's get this circle, okay? Or the intersection between the cylinder and the cone, all right? So to do that, we're gonna go to construction intersection I'm gonna select the cone and feature 2 is gonna be the cylinder okay now the key here is to click shell on both of them all right shell on both that's the mistake I made I was looking to do this and I had shell on one turned it off shell on the other the key here is shell on both all right now we can hit OK. Now we have intersection one, which is right here. Now, if we want to measure the distance between this plane and this intersection, okay, since my zero zero, zero, zero is over here, you can go into size, distance, Cartesian. And since our first feature is a plane, plane two, we do not need any other data and references, so feature two is going to be the intersection. 680 is correct. The tolerance, if I remember correctly, is 20 thousandths, something along those lines. It's plus or minus 20. All right. Don't forget your negative symbols, that doesn't matter. And we'll hit OK. All right. And that's it. You'll see that Cartesian distance, 680 is the correct uh, nominal value. Type in the tolerance, and again, I forget what the tolerance was in the exact drawing for this one, but it's irrelevant um, just for this example. And now we're good to go. Okay, uh, included angle, if we get into the cone, you can do the cone angle here, and then I'll output it into your characteristics. Pretty simple on that one. All right, and that's about it. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, uh, the key here is the inside-outside function, it defaults to inside, which will cause a crash. 
update your clearance plane. You got to go into strategy and move your start heights on each of your cuts or your circle paths for this, each section. And that gets it to run properly. To get the intersection between this cylinder and this cone, make sure you have shell selected for both features. And that is the key elements of measuring this cone. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks.